Valiant is planning to publish three versions of the Nintendo comic books, a bi-monthly paperback, a monthly deluxe version, and a special collector's edition. All are scheduled to debut in April. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Find. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bit of a rare gem that ended up being a funny story because when I bought this, I had no idea it was a rare gem. Today we're going to be looking at Nintendo Comic System Sneak Preview by Valiant. Welcome to Behind the Find. As video game collectors, there are two things we do really well buy video games and show them off. But sometimes our treasures deserve to be seen in deeper detail. Today, let's get into Behind the Find. Recently, I was game hunting at a place called Rad Junk in Florida. My buddy Joe Alonzo and his awesome wife Sam run the store and they're great people. Now I was game hunting there with NES Complex and Shady J from the Game Chasers. We were looking around the store and we happened to see this random side table of stuff that really hasn't been priced yet or really even looked at yet. But NES Complex and I love weird knickknacks and collectibles and I know Shady J does too as well, but NES Complex and I were really drawn to this table. Like this is really cool. <laughs> I see on this table all these random Nintendo comics just kind of lying there. All the different Nintendo comic systems with the Nintendo comic system featuring Game Boy, Adventure of Super Mario Bros, another Adventures of Super Mario Bros, and a straight up Super Mario Bros, and then a Nintendo comic system. Now when I saw these, I openly said to them, I don't know anything about these, how much are they? They also followed with, hey, I don't really know anything about these yet. We kind of haven't really looked at them, so we'll throw it a random price. All right, so I don't, I have no idea what these are going for. No idea, zero clue. I just know they're awesome. These are Super Mario Adventures or Adventures of Super Mario. They ended up throwing out the price of $5, and without hesitation, that's a great deal. A dollar per comic book, that's amazing. Five bucks for all of them. $5. So as always, I went on to post a NES Pursuit video, but I noticed something a little different. There was quite a few comments coming in saying, you guys need to check out that sneak preview comic that you got for a dollar. That's a bit of a rare item, a bit of a hidden item, and a hard to find item. Please check it out. So my curiosity was getting the best of me and I started looking into this and well, I found out quite a bit of information and I wanna share it all with you guys. Well, first off, this comic was made by Valiant Comics. Valiant Comics is an American publisher of comic books and related media. The company was founded in 1989 by former Marvel Comics editor-in-chief Jim Shooter and lawyer and businessman Steven Masarski. This is one of the earliest Valiant Comics, and it's also said that this is the first comic book where Valiant proudly placed their logo on the cover. This is an eight-page comic book, including the cover, and this is is a pre-advertisement for the Nintendo comic system. This is where this gets really interesting. This was aimed more at retailers to let them know you have an unprecedented opportunity, like it says right here in the book, to be a retailer that can sell some upcoming, amazing, not yet released Nintendo Valiant comics. And turning to a different side of the entertainment industry, Nintendo is getting in to the comic book business. The Japanese company has decided to license characters from its video games, including Super Mario Brothers and The Legend of Zelda, and instead of going to an established giant of the comic book industry like Marvel or DC Comics, Nintendo is backing a new player in the business. It's a joint venture between Western Publishing and Voyager Communications, which will publish the comic books under the Valiant imprint hoping to cash in on the $300 million a year comic book business. If you look at some of the blurbs inside, it says unprecedented opportunity. Valiant proudly introduces the Nintendo comic system, a line of high quality, full color comics and albums that represents an unprecedented opportunity to bring a huge number of comics buying customers into comic stores. And then it does something really smart. After that, it gives a bunch of facts about Nintendo sales figures to let retailers 
know, who may be a little uninformed, all the happenings and how hot Nintendo is right now. Facts like 22% of American homes have a Nintendo Entertainment System. By 1992, an estimated 33% of American homes will have a NES. 9.1 million pieces of NES hardware were sold during 1989. And then at the very end, it says, don't let the legions of Nintendo enthusiasts pass your store by. Use the incredible popularity of Nintendo to bring new customers into your store. Once they're in, they'll buy the Nintendo comic system and they'll come back each month for more. They'll discover comics. You're, you're planning not just to sell it at comic book shops or at, at the supermarket. You're really aiming at those people who are buying uh, Nintendo uh, game uh, yeah. games. Well, yeah, we, we actually uh, specifically designed a format to, that could go on the World of Nintendo displays. They could be sold in the same places as the games. We found that, that uh, we needed about a $10 price point to be in those places. And so we designed a very big, very thick, very deluxe comic book on uh, excellent paper, offset printing, heavy covers, a real, it's a quality paperback. And I love the last line here and what they say. I like their confidence, but it didn't rain true in the end. The Nintendo comic system may be the biggest boost comics have ever had. Be a part of it. Thanks, Anna Egan. The fact that this was aimed more towards retailers and not so much the general audience is amazing to me. This is the kind of stuff that makes this item so much cooler and so much more unique. It is also stated that this comic was an insert inside an issue of the comic book Geyer's Guide from their February 9th, 1990 release. There is an article on Voyager Communications' new Valiant Comics publishing company, which mentions the upcoming Nintendo comics. So from my understanding, this comic book was an insert inside of another comic book, or at least a comic book buyer's guide. If you flip through the rest of the pages in this book, you will see full page previews of the covers to Nintendo Comics System Number 1. Now what's funny about that is they advertise this is going to be Nintendo Comics System Number 1, but this is actually not what the first issue ended up looking like, which I admittedly think this one was way cooler than the one we got. But this is Captain N, Link, and Super Mario. I think this is a much better comic book cover. And the remainder of the pages here show Super Mario Bros. Number 1, a two-page comic starring characters from Super Mario Bros. 3 titled A Fish That Should Have Gotten Away, and a couple of one-page comic previews of Captain N, the Game Master, and Link, the Legend of Zelda. Pretty standard stuff, but really cool that they were able to show retailers exactly what they were going to be getting their hands into, well, minus the first one that didn't end up actually being published. Another thing to point out is that in early 2016, the GDC census had only six gradings recorded with one at 9.8 and one at a 9.4 and the others being really low. So not being the biggest comic book guy, I went to a lot of different comic book forums talking about this and yeah, I guess this thing is pretty desirable and actually pretty rare. Not many people see these out there and the people that do say they have seen them normally see them ripped up and with stickers all over them in really terrible condition. Lucky enough, my was on cardboard and in plastic and this thing is darn near mint condition and from what I'm seeing there's only a couple available online to be purchased that are in anywhere decent condition to this or somewhat close to this and those are going between $300 to $500 at the time of me shooting this video. So I have to be 100% clear and transparent with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep this now that I know the value. And I say that because I'm not the biggest comic book guy at all in any way, shape, or form. Sure, I love Super Mario and I love different Nintendo knickknacks and collectibles and oddities, but I feel like this would be better suited in a comic book store where they can really love and appreciate this. So I might take it to a local shop and see if I can do some sort of trade or some sort of sale for this, and if I do, Another thing I want to be clear with is I already did contact Joe and Sam and let them know we didn't know what we were doing when we did this deal for a dollar. Not one of us looked it up. We kind of just threw out some loose numbers. So getting this for a buck, I did tell them that whatever this sells for, if I do some trade, I will make sure to split any money that I make from this because I want to be fair because getting this for a dollar is kind of ridiculous. 
What I want to know is have you ever bought something not knowing what you're getting and come to realize later, wow, I actually picked up something pretty valuable or pretty rare without even knowing when you bought the item. All right, guys, thanks for watching Behind the Find. Thanks for subscribing and liking the video. I appreciate it. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, I hope you have an amazing, fantastic, wonderful day. See you guys. Thank you.